The National Military Command Center (NMCC) is a Pentagon command and communications center for the National Command Authority, i.e., the President of the United States and the United States Secretary of Defense. Maintained by the Department of the Air Force as the DOD Executive Agent. For NMCC logistical, budgetary, facility and systems support, the NMCC operators are in the Joint Staff's J3 Operations Directorate. The NMCC is responsible for generating emergency action messages EAMs to launch control centers, nuclear submarines, recon aircraft and battlefield commanders. Mission The NMCC has three main missions, all serving the Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff in his role as the Principal Military Advisor to both the Secretary of Defense and the President also known as the National Command Authority. The primary task of the NMCC is to monitor worldwide events which may be of defense significance. The NMCC also has a crisis response component e.g., response to the bombing of the USS Cole, the September 11 attacks, the attack on the USS Liberty, and Payne Stewart's plane crash. And a strategic watch component e.g., monitoring ballistic missile launches and other nuclear activity. The NMCC is responsible for generating emergency action messages EAMs to launch control centers, nuclear submarines, recon aircraft, and battlefield commanders worldwide. It maintains the American end of the famous U.S.-Russia hotline the so-called Red Telephone. <laughs> organization The NMCC is operated by five teams on a rotating watch system. Each team typically has 17 to 20 personnel on duty performing a wide variety of functions including communications. Teams are led by a Deputy Director for Operations DDO and an Assistant Deputy Director for Operations ADO, and are divided into five duty officer positions. The DDO is typically a Brigadier General or Rear Admiral lower half, and the ADO is typically a Colonel or Captain. Leadership one DDO and one Assistant Deputy Director for Operations ADO. Current Operations Section two Senior Operations Officers SU, and one Current Operations Officer COO. Emergency Action Element three Senior Emergency Actions Officers, EAO, EANCO. Surveillance one officer. Supporting Sections approximately 8 to 10 individuals the more than 300 people in the NMCC have responsibilities that are operational in nature. The NMCC is not funded through the Joint Staff, but by the Department of the Air Force, which as DoD Executive Agent provides logistical, budgetary, facility and system support to the NMCC. The Joint Staff J-3 Command Systems Operations Division manages the operations of the Information System facilities and maintains operational control of the Crisis Management Automated Data Processing System for the National Military Command Center. Topic. Description The NMCC includes several war rooms, uses more than 300 operational personnel, and houses the United States side of the 1963 Moscow-Washington hotline which links the Pentagon and the Kremlin. Data into the NMCC includes warning, on the size, origin, and targeting of an attack, e.g., from the NORAD, NORTHCOM Command Center. The NMCC's Crisis Management Automated Data Processing Systems are under control of the J-3 Command Systems Operations Division. History World War II Pentagon construction allowed a central military installation for the Navy and War Departments to communicate with theater commands, and CONUS Air Defense was based on warning data compiled by local aircraft warning core information centers for processing GOC observations and radar tracks to coordinate ground controlled interception CF, Battle of Los Angeles. As requested by Gen. Spatz, a fall 1947 AAF war room was establishment in the Pentagon, operational early in 1948. 
Strategic Air Command began using the Telephonic Army Command and Administrative Net in 1946 until switching to the 1949 USAF AIRCOMNET Command Teletype Network. The Independent Strategic Operational Control System (SOCS) with telephones and teletype was fully installed by the 1st of May 1950. Topic. 1950 Air Force Command Post The Air Force Command Post AFCP was hastily set up on June 25, 1950, to replace the 1948 War Room when the Korean War began. On the Pentagon's floor, the AFCP served as a reception point for radio messages between General Vandenberg and his FEAF commanders during air staff after duty hours. After a direct telephone line was installed in mid-July 1950 between Konak headquarters and the 26th Air Division HQ, the beginning of the Air Force Air Raid Warning System, in August, President Truman had a direct telephone line installed between the Air Force Pentagon post and the White House. Moved to a more permanent Pentagon facility in early 1951, the second AFCP location had a communications center and war room, which prepared status displays. An emergency air staff actions office was incorporated into the command post early in 1952. Alternate AFCP sites in 1951 were at Langley AFB primary and Maxwell AFB secondary. Radar tracks from the 1952 permanent system radar stations relayed to the Air Defense Command Command Center at Ent AFB, Colorado, would be assessed, and suspicion or confirmation of attack would be relayed to the AFCP and SAC headquarters. The Pentagon would pass the warning to the President, the Secretary of Defense, and the JCS and the SOCS allowed relay of their orders to the combat forces. Topic: 1953 JCS Pentagon Annex. At the Pentagon, an annex established c. 1952-53 by the Joint Chiefs of Staff was operated by the Air Force as an adjunct to the AFCP and received reports from Joint Coordination Centers in Buckinghamshire, England, and Pershing Heights, Tokyo. ADC built a new Ent AFB blockhouse in 1954 and, in August 1955 OSD approved the automatic activation of the Raven Rock AJCC on declaration of air defense warning or notice of surprise attack. 1956 Raven Rock Annex In July 1956 in the Pennsylvania Bunker, a joint War Room Annex was established and was operated by the Air Force. In 1955 the National Security Council designated the AFCP as the National Air Defense Warning Center and Raven Rock's scope was broadened in April 1957 for activation prior to emergency if JCS thought it necessary. In 1957 NORAD collocated command center operations in the 1954 ADC blockhouse later into the 1963 Chidlaw Building and in 1966, Cheyenne Mountain Complex. On July 1, 1958, the AFCP was connected to NORAD's Alert Network No. 1, as one of 29 transmit, receive stations a differing, worldwide telephone system, was complete, from national authorities to unified commanders. By December 1958, starting in August 1959, with USAF assistance, the JCS set up its own Joint War Room JWR at the Pentagon. In September 1960 at the Offutt AFB nuclear bunkers the installation of a SAC display warning system included three consoles in the Offutt AFB nuclear bunkers CF. 1958 Bear Mountain Bunker, on 20 October 1960, the JCS instructed the Joint Staff to establish a Joint Alternate Command Element JACE for rotating battle staffs to the AJCC for temporary duty. <laughs> 1960 Joint War Room 
The Joint War Room JWR consoles became operational in November 1960 and on December 21, the AFCP reverted to a USAF mission when its "...joint and national responsibilities..." ended. The September 1960 Winter Study Group and the October 1960 WSEG Report 50 recommended "...interlocking the various fixed command posts..." into a "...coupled command system..." with mobile centers and a bomb alarm system the subsequent national defense communications control center ndccc opened on march 6 1961 as part of the national communications system ncs framework encompassing all federal assets including approximately 79 major relay stations scattered around the globe cf the norad cmc's 427 mncs the final report of the National Command and Control Task Force Partridge Report was completed on 14 November 1961. After developmental cost overruns, OSD in mid-1961 changed both the SAGE and SAC 465L programs to pre-battle systems and instead approved a post-attack command control system for SAC and a backup interceptor control system for ADC and NORAD. The Raven Rock Jace was activated on the 11th of July 1961 under USAF Brig. General Willard W. Smith with the five staffs permanently stationed in Washington and an administrative section at feet. Ritchie. Rotations began in October 1961, and development of the USAF's separate, austere post-attack command and control system PACCS began in July 1961. 1961 NCC Task Force The National Command and Control Task Force, headed by General Partridge, submitted its findings on 14 November 1961. Partridge Report, which recommended, "...the Joint War Room become the National Military Command Center It was to become the nerve center of a national military command system", with underground and mobile alternate command centers. And 8 March 1962 JCCDG plan for a 220,000 square feet 20,000 square meters addition to the JWR was too expensive, and the group postponed NMCC planning until WWMCCS planning was completed a concept was complete in late March. On 2 June 1962 Secretary McNamara issued a memorandum directing that the NMCS be put into operation, and a committee under the Director of the Office of Emergency Planning recommended on the 11 June 1962 that the NMCS include civilian executive departments for emergencies. The JCS approved the NMCS plan on 19 June, and the Joint Command Control Requirements Group formed in June 1962 revised the plan which SECDEF approved in early July. September refinements in the plan were approved by SECDEF on 17 October in DoD Directive S5100.30, which conceived the WWMMCCS with five types of C2 systems with the NMCS to serve the President, SECDEF, JCS as the primary type of system and containing the NMCC, the ANMCC, three NEACP aircraft on 24-hour ground alert, two NECPA ships and interconnecting communications. <laughs> 1962 NMCC The NMCC was begun in early 1962 opened early October when the JCS area with the Joint War Room was expanded from approximately 7,000 square feet 650 square meters to approximately 21,000 square feet 2,000 square meters by 1965 the Pentagon's Navy flag plot coordinated the Cuban Missile Crisis Blockade. The NMCC was initially considered an interim Location until the Deep Underground Command Center DUCC could be completed below the Pentagon never built. In December 1963, SAC accepted the first 465 L elements and began to send a limited flow of data traffic through them. The NMCC had direct communications with MACV headquarters in Saigon. 
during the Vietnam War. Topic: 1972 upgrade. The WWMCCS ADP upgrade program included 1972 computer installations e.g. 2 COC data net 355 computers and C mid 1972 additional NMCC expansion enlarged it to approximately 30000 square feet 2800 square meters and included the joint operational reporting JOPREP system in 1977, the NMCC was one of six initial sites of the WWMCCS Intercomputer Network developed from a 1971–77 experimental program with testing and use by the JCS. The Command Center Processing and Display System CCPDS replaced NMCC Univac 1106 Computers C. 1977 with dedicated Univac 1142nd computers for console and large screen displays. By 1981 as part of the WWMCCS Information System the NMCC received data directly from the Satellite Early Warning System and directly from the Pave Pause Sensor Systems. The NMCC at TBD side of the Pentagon coordinated responses to the 2001 September 11 attacks double AFLT-77 struck the west side and other events. By 2008, the NMCC had the NMCC Alert Center for Intelligence Fusion in the National Operations and Intelligence Watch Officer Network. In popular culture The 1964 films Dr. Strangelove and Fail Safe both depict the Pentagon War Room. In The Sum of All Fears 2002, Jack Ryan played by Ben Affleck goes to the NMCC, and convinces the DDO to get him on the U.S.-Russian hotline, trying to stop an all-out nuclear confrontation between the two nuclear powers. The 2007 Transformers film has a scene set in an imaginative representation of the National Military Command Center. The Call of Duty, Black Ops Zombies Map. 5 begins in the war room of the Pentagon, appearing almost identical to the real-life counterpart. See also Raven Rock Mountain Complex Continuity of Government Operation Looking Glass National Airborne Operations Center White House Situation Room